Hello Virgo, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your July 2017 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you, Virgo. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, please stop by my website at www.soulstarbliss.com. Get yourself an appointment we'll see what we can do for you. Also, you may want to check your rising sign, your moon, and your sun sign. Again, I keep getting all of those wonderful comments. I appreciate it. And I will be doing the love and money reading. I'll have them out by the end of the month. And thank you, thank you for all the requests with the healing gems. I'm going to either add on to one of those videos or I'm going to try to get one done all by itself and we'll get that out this month too. Wow, it says there's, there's going to be some really good things for you. Right place, right time, wishes granted, things that you want. And it's because of things that you've done. It says that you have put your excuses away. You've gotten remotivated. You've got plans. You've got things going. It seems like, gosh, it just seems like you're really revved up and ready to go. And I feel that's just about for everybody. Um, hmm. It says, changes and choices that were made from the past, meaning different choices are going to be made. And this is, I don't know why, but it's a good thing. It's almost like you're clearing the air, clearing the way found things that didn't work, and now you're doing things that are working, if that makes any sense to you. It says you've learned how not to have a topple, not to have the tower. It says you've learned to be open to the possibility of change. You have a laser-like focus, and this is going to help you in many ways. <coughs> Excuse me. It says quick changes are going to be coming. Some of you that are in a partnership, okay, and I don't think this is a love, well, it could be a love relationship. There's going to, ship, there's going to be changes in that area real quick here. Some of them are for the better, some of them are not for the better. It just says there's going to be changes in relationship area. Um, it says you're getting ready to make some choices for the future. Don't be afraid because it's almost as if you're guided. You've learned it doesn't matter what's gone. The past can't change. I mean, we can learn from it, but we can't go back and change it. And tomorrow's not here yet, so let's just kind of focus on what is right now. And it says that with that thought, it says there's celebrations coming for you. It seems like you're going to have everything you need to get your work done. Get your product out. Get your wishes going. Uh, you're going to have the energy that you need. There's a lot of stuff. In fact, you're going to actually have some help from people that you didn't expect to help you. If you ask, we're going to have trouble asking. We're going to have to ask for it. It says your apprenticeship is over now. Spirit is, those of you that hear, see, feel spirit, whatever it is, you're going to know that they're there helping and guiding you, and that makes life much easier. It says some of you are feeling like, oh, my God, is this ever going to end? Yeah, it is. The things that haven't gone right. And it's inspiration, it's energy, it's whatever. It says that now is the time to get those feet moving, get moving forward in all areas. This is a good thing. It says don't foolishly waste this time that's going on right now for you. It says if you've had an argument with somebody or disagreement, it says maybe that's the best thing that ever could have happened because you're going to trust yourself now. And it says the star card, you're going to be led. You're a chariot, one who achieves greatness, so don't give up on yourself yet. There's already things in the works for you. It says if you've heard from someone from the past um, and they're wanting to come back, uh, take your time and decide what you're going to do with that. That's not for everybody. It says some of you are seriously thinking about moving. May be able to. I'm not sure. It says, but move because you want to, not because you feel you have to. New beginnings are right here before you. It says a lot of people are going to be telling you, what are you doing? How can you be doing this? If you follow your own plan or your plan of action, you're going to do really well. It says some of you are going to be promoting or starting something new that's going to do really well. Boy, are you going to be tired. So you must be doing a lot of work this month to get things rolling. Um, Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself for your rest. And don't let the uh, acquisition or letting go of a relationship deter you in any way. It says you've got it. You, you can't be waiting now. Don't waste this time. Things that you've started are really going to blossom for you if you continue forward. It says it's almost as if you have somebody guiding you in spirit or angels or creator or whatever it says your intuition will be very sharp this month your excuses are gone now your world's getting ready to change your money may be only x amount there's a lot more coming behind that for those of you that have been working hard and again when you make your choices for the future make them wisely um and it says whatever you need you have to finish what you're doing you can't start this project and leave it there and that project and leave it there it says follow through follow through follow through is what i heard with that said, Wheel of Fortune will make things much better for you. 
<coughs> excuse me, uh, the Ace of Swords says victory is going to be yours. It says that feeling of being alone, mm, that you may have that for a while yet, but victory in business or work area or something like that, you're going to feel and you're really going to like it. Excuse me. <coughs> My allergies are really kicking in today. Okay, it says that um, don't worry, you've put most of the hard work behind you. Just continue as you are, but keep going. Those wants, wishes, and daydreams are there. Don't give your power away now. Virgo, it says you're really on the, the verge of doing something wonderful. So keep up the great work. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thanks for dropping in, and we'll see you next month, Virgo.